The tragedy of the commons is when people, acting rationally, but in their own self-interest, will inevitably undermine society's long-term interest by depleting shared resources. We have seen this happen time and time again all throughout history, including the mother of all tragedy of the commons problems, global warming. So the reason I'm excited about this game is because it makes an abstract idea concrete, it compresses time into one class period, and students can actually interact with the dynamic system. Filament believes that a complete classroom game includes lesson plans that help teachers connect gameplay to broader themes in the curriculum. In Land Grab, we start with a class discussion. Let's jump into the game. First, you will be assigned one of four roles. Next, we are presented with a grid of land tiles. There are woodland tiles and grassland tiles. Each role in the game has a preferred tile type. For the farmer, it's the grassland, where we can produce two wheat instead of the usual one wheat for a woodland. Each player will choose land tiles, up to a fixed amount that is scaffolded from three up to six over the first four turns. If more than one player uses a tile, it is depleted, and that tile will be out of play for one turn. 50% productive after another turn, and back to full strength after yet another turn. Players, left on their own to compete for resources, will inevitably create a tragedy of the commons, with almost all the land tiles ruined. Now this is where things get interesting. Each player is given the ability to remove a claim on a contested tile. This allows for emergence of a local solution, negotiating the use of the land. Students would be encouraged to discuss and resolve conflicts, enabling each tile to function at full capacity. After everyone's had a chance to dive into the game, we're prepared with a class discussion in order to connect the game world to our world. Land Grab by Filament Games. Real games, real learning.